Good morning and welcome to Miss Brody. And today I'll be teaching you how to create subcategories within your Zazzle store. So what I mean with a subcategory is this is my home page, my storefront page for Miss Brody. And you can see I have several categories with my back to school theme, which I, I'll be changing soon because it's October now. But for the sake of this video, here's one of my categories that I worked on for the video. So teacher supplies. So you see how it takes you to a subcategory. And I'll be creating more subcategories. Teacher t-shirts. And it takes you to, I have basically four teachers t-shirts at the moment. So I'll teach you how to do that. So I'm going to return to store management. And I want to and I'm going to go to all products just so you can see the process. So I come down to the categories portion and teacher supplies. That's the category I'm working on. And I want to add a new category, which would be called business cards. And I already created my image. So this is my image here, business cards, because you need to have a, a category a thumbnail image so your categories can show up. So I'm going to click done. Okay, and what I want to do is also, I'm going to click on all the business cards within this category so I can put them inside of it. So I'm just going to go through. And if you have lots of items, you can just Click on search this store and select all. Like, for example, if I had a lot of business cards in this category where I can't go one through one by one, I'll just, you know, type business cards basically and select all right here so it can just easily add it to the um, category. But I'm just going one by one because I don't have many business cards in this category. Okay, so now that I've selected my business cards, I'm going to set store category, which is teacher supplies, and it's going to go under business cards. Okay, now it's not going to show up in your categories right away. It takes a while for Zazzle to index it. So you see, these are my categories so far. And I can just move things around as I want. Okay. So business cards, I'm going to click on that category. So you see the products haven't been indexed yet. So it's going to say, sorry, no products found. Okay, this is post-it notes here. And that's a new category that has no products found. Okay, and it does take a while for it to show up in your public storefront. Click 
Because I'm going to click on Teach Your Supplies. And sometimes, it, I don't know why, sometimes it doesn't show, like, my categories. I had to go and click different things. You see how I had to just randomly just click different stuff so you can see it on my storefront page? So I don't know why it does it. Maybe it's a glitch. Okay, because it's supposed to show up at least the teacher t-shirt one. But see, it, it still didn't do that. So I don't I don't know what's going on with that. Because I created the t-shirt category weeks ago. So I don't know why the that subcategory image isn't showing up. But it shows up when I click on the um parent header, you know? But I wanted to basically what I'm trying to say is when I click on teacher supplies. Okay, so now it did it. It has teacher t-shirts. So once the other categories, the business cards and the post-it notes show up, it will have teacher t-shirts, business cards, and post-it notes. But right now it's only Index teacher t shirts because I did that weeks ago. And see, now it takes me to the products. But like I said, um, I'm going to try it one more time to see if it at least shows the sub subcategory teacher t shirts. Okay, see, it didn't show it this time. So it's, I guess it's different glitches that. Zazzle is trying to work out at the moment. Okay, well, thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments, comment section. Okay, have a great day.